Hey there, math enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to dive into the world of functions and explore three important terms, injection, surjection, and bijection. Functions are a fundamental concept in mathematics, and they're used to describe the relationship between sets. Specifically, a function maps elements from one set, the domain, to another set, the codomain. Now, let's start by defining these three terms. A function f such that a is mapped to b, is said to be injective or one-to-one -one if for each b in b, there is at most one a in a such that f of a equals b. In other words, if f of a1 equals f of a2, then a1 equals a2. Or if a1 does not equal a2, then the implication is that f of a1 does not equal f of a2. Another way of saying this is for every distinct a1 and a2, in A, there exists distinct B1 and B2 in B, such that F of A1 equals B1 and F of A2 equals B2. In simpler terms, it means that no two elements in the domain will map to the same element in the codomain. That's what we mean by a one-to-one -one function. Let's look at a few examples that maps elements from one set to elements in another. This function is injective. Every element in set A is distinctly mapped to elements in set B. That is, no two elements in the domain is mapped to the same element in the codomain. Let's look at another example. This function is injective. Every element in set A is distinctly mapped to elements in set B, i.e. no two elements in the domain is mapped to the same element in the codomain. The fact that not all elements in set B are mapped doesn't mean it's not injective. Remember, the definition of injection states if for each B in B, there is at most one A in A such that F of A equals B, which allows for an element in set B to have no mapping. How about this one? This function is not injective because two elements in set A are being mapped to the same element in set B, which is not allowed under injection. Now let's take a look at surjection. A function f such that A is mapped to B is said to be surjective or onto if for each B in B, there is at least one A in A such that f of A equals B. In other words, the function f is onto Y if the range of f is Y. That is, the entire range is the codomain. Let's look at the last injection diagram again. Though this function is not injective, it is surjective. The reason is because the definition states that there must be at least one element in A such that f of A equals B, which allows for more than one element in set A to map to the same element in set B. Hence, the entire range is the codomain, B. However, this diagram is not surjective. To see why, consider the definition again. If for each B in B, there is at least one A in A such that F of A equals B. This means every element of the codomain must have at least one element of the domain that maps to it, which is not the case here. Now let's look at what a bijection is. A function F such that A is mapped to B is said to be bijective or one-to-one -one and onto if it is both injective and surjective. In other words, if for every B in B, there is exactly one A in A such that F of A equals B. Another way of saying this is each element of A is paired with exactly one element of B and each element of B is paired with exactly one element of A. That is, there are no unpaired elements. We call this a one-to-one -one correspondence. Do not confuse this with an injection, which is a one-to-one -one function. Now let's revisit all three diagrams again. Was the first diagram a bijection? Yes, it was. It was both one-to-one -one and onto. The at most and at least requirements of an injection and surjection respectively are met, which in translation means each element of A is paired with exactly one element of B and each element of B is paired with exactly one element of A. That is, there are no unpaired elements. How about this diagram? Is this a bijection? No, it is not on to B, therefore failing the requirement of surjection where every element of B, that is the codomain, must be mapped. One of the elements in B does not have at least one element in A 
being mapped to it. And how about this one? Is this one both one-to-one -one and onto? No, it's not an injection. Though it is onto, it is not one-to-one. -one. The reason is because two elements in the domain are being mapped to the same element in the codomain, thus failing the at most one requirement for the elements in the codomain. Now, let us explore these concepts further with some additional examples. Consider the function f such that r is mapped to r, where f of x equals x squared. This function is not one to one because f of 2 equals f of negative 2, which equals 4. However, 2 does not equal negative 2. In addition, it is not onto r because the range is the proper subset of all non negative numbers in r rather than the entire codomain. In other words, elements of the domain would never map to negative elements in the codomain because f of x equals x squared will always produce a positive number. However, if we modified f such that f is mapped from r plus to r plus, that is f is mapped from the set of positive real numbers to the set of positive real numbers, then it is both injective and surjective and hence bijective. Now consider the function f such that r is mapped to r where f of x equals 2x. This function is injective because if f of a equals f of b, then 2a equals 2b, which implies a equals b. Hence, it is injective since we have proved that if any two elements mapped to the same output, they must be the same element. Now, is it surjective? Well, if we choose y over 2 as our value for x, then for every element y in the real numbers, the number y over 2 maps to it, since f of y over 2 equals 2 times y over 2, which equals y. Thus, it is surjective. And therefore, since it is both injective and surjective, it is bijective. However, let's suppose that the function maps integers to integers. Then there is no value for x that maps to the number 3, 5, 7, or any odd number, since 2 times any integer is always an even number. So in this case, the function is not surjective. Lastly, let's consider the function f such that r is mapped to r where f of x equals x cubed. Is this function one to one? Yes. Here's why. If we let a b be elements in r such that f of a equals f of b, so that f of a equals f of b implies that a cubed equals b cubed, then we have a equals b after taking the cubed root thus showing that f is one to one. Now, is it onto? Well, let y be an element in R and choose y such that x equals the cube root of y. Since the cubed root of y is a real number and f of x equals the cubed root of y cubed, which equals y, we have found the required pre-image for f and f is onto as is needed by the definition of a surjection, which means all we need to do to get any value we want for f of x is to simply input the cubed root of the value we want, and we'll get it because the cubed root of f of x cubed equals f of x. Since we have shown that f is both an injection and a surjection, this means that it is also bijective. To summarize, injection, surjection, and bijection are important concepts in mathematics that describe the relationship between sets. If you're just learning about these concepts, my advice would be to practice working through examples and understanding the definitions. Understanding these concepts can help you better understand functions and their applications in various fields beyond just pure mathematics. For example, fields such as economics, computer science, and engineering. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more math content. Thanks for watching.